Welcome to the Update the Web Server Certificate video tutorial. The Web Server Certificate is used to secure connections to the authentication portal on your Firebox or XTM device. By default, your device uses a self-signed certificate that, like all certificates, expires over time. So it's important for you to update the certificate periodically. The Web Server Certificate is a bit different from other certificates on your device because it can't be deleted, making it a little tricky to update. During this video, I'll show you how. How do you know when it's time to update your web server certificate? Frequently, it's when you happen to notice that your certificate has expired, which isn't always obvious. An expired web server certificate can cause web browsers to show certificate expiration warnings when you or your users connect to the Fireware XTM web UI or to the user authentication page. So to update your web server certificate, here's what you need to do. If you want to confirm whether your certificate has expired, open Firebox System Manager and navigate to the Certificates window. As you can see here, my web server certificate has expired. To locate the certificate's expiration date, I look in the Certificate Details window. I can see here that my web server certificate expired in 2010. It definitely needs to be updated. In Policy Manager, open the Web Server Certificate window. Select Custom Certificate Signed by Firebox, and then type a common name for your organization. Many people put their domain name in this field. Next, type an organization name and an organization unit name to identify the part of your organization that created the certificate. The organization unit name field is optional, so I'll just leave it blank. To add the domain name used to access the authentication page to the certificate, click here. To add the IP address used to access the authentication page, click here. The last thing to do is save the configuration to the device. When you choose to apply a custom certificate, the default certificate is effectively removed and replaced with the custom certificate option when it is saved to your device. You'll see this warning anytime you save changes to the configuration file that already exists on the hard drive of your management station. Go ahead and click Yes to continue. Now that the custom certificate is saved, let's go back to Firebox System Manager so you can see the updated status and expiration date. Because of the steps I just performed, the status of the web server certificate changed from expired to signed. Let's take an even closer look in the Certificate Details window. Previously, the certificate had an expiration date of 2010. Because the device is now using the new custom certificate that I just applied, the Web Server Certificate is valid until 2017. At this point, you can either stop and use the new custom certificate, or you can replace the custom certificate with a new default certificate. If you do want to use the default certificate, return to the Web Server Certificate page in Policy Manager and basically perform the same steps again, except for one difference. When you were here previously, you selected this option. This time, select the option Default Certificate Signed by Firebox. Just like before, save the configuration to your device. When you go back to using the default certificate option, the custom certificate is removed and then replaced with the new default certificate. And once again, go ahead and click Yes to replace the existing configuration file. Let's go back to the Certificate Details window in Firebox System Manager one more time to see how these steps impacted the Web Server Certificate. The certificate still expires on April 16, 2017, just a little bit later in the day. That's it! The Web Server Certificate is, once again, current. For more information about certificates, visit the WatchGuard website.